Well, I went to the Sun Bowl tonight to check on the progress of the painting of the Central Michigan logos onto the field. Unfortunately, the stadium was locked, couldn't get in, but I still struck gold. Look who's here. The Central Michigan equipment truck has made it down I-10 from Tucson for the Sun Bowl. The rest of the team will join the equipment guys in El Paso on Thursday. As I said, they're currently in the process of repainting the north end zone with the CMU logo. Here's a little bit of a time lapse. It was, of course, Miami on Sunday. They're painting over it today. The logo for Miami painted over, and then they had to get creative painting the CMU logo on it. It would have taken a week to order a Central Michigan stencil, so instead they jerry-rigged their own using various letters from ACC schools that they just had lying around. They use the C from North Carolina, I think the M for Miami. Uh, everyone working overtime to make sure the Chippewas get to play Washington State on Friday in the Tony the Tiger Sun Bowl. And that includes the teams. Washington State is here in El Paso. The Cougars got starting quarterback Jaden Delora back today after his flights to the Sun City were delayed due to weather in Seattle. Both these teams are now doing game plan installations as quickly as possible. The 7 and 5 Cougars won five of their last six games in the regular season. Meanwhile, the 8 and 4 Chippewas won four straight. They're led by one of the nation's leading rushers, Lou Nichols. So with less than 60 hours until kickoff, these teams clearly just rolling with the punches. This is going to be a challenge, you know, especially on short notice. This is a good football team coming in and one that will be extremely motivated and, and we'll have to match that, uh, you know, type of energy right from, right from the kickoff. Everybody wants to be a professional. This is like a Sunday to, to Thursday game. You know, just go through the same process of preparing, get, go over the game plan, watch film, and just come out, practice, focus, and get ready to go. The Cougars will practice at Eastwood again tomorrow morning. Meanwhile, Central Michigan held its practices at the University of Arizona on Tuesday. They will practice in Tucson again Wednesday. Chippewa's head coach Jim McElwain will meet with the media over Zoom on Wednesday morning. Our first chance to hear from Central Michigan regarding the whirlwind few days they've had. They're preparing for the game under a nasty umbrella, though. Bowl season continues to be hit hard by COVID-19 for the second year in a row. Five games have been canceled because of the virus already. The latest, the Holiday Bowl between UCLA and North Carolina State was scheduled to be played tonight. It was canceled just hours before kickoff due to COVID cases in UCLA's program. There's also been two polls get replacement teams. Of course, the Sun Bowl getting Central Michigan. Also, the Gator Bowl getting Rutgers to place te replace Texas A&M. As of tonight, there is no indication that either Central Michigan or Washington State are having issues with COVID. But given what we've seen the last few days, things can certainly change on a dime. And the Sun Bowl committee will be keeping its fingers crossed that the game does go down at 10 a.m. Friday because of the economic impacts that the bowl brings. It's estimated that the Sun Bowl brings in between 14 and 25 million dollars per year. It also airs on national television on CBS, which means there's always a lot of eyeballs on the Sun City. Simply put, it is imperative that the game gets played. I think the Sun Bowl is the single annual event that has the greatest economic impact on El Paso. All right, uh, the numbers we haven't done an impact, uh, uh, you know, economic impact study, but that's obviously way in the millions. Uh, when people come in and, and they stay in our hotels and they, sh you know, they eat at our restaurants, they shop at our stores, you know, all that is money that, that, that enhances, you know, our economy here in El Paso. That's unclear how many Chippewas fans will be here because they've had to switch bowl games. We do expect a decent number of Washington State fans. They always travel well. However, tickets are refundable for anyone who wants one after Miami had to drop out.